Welcome Sagittarius to your weekly reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you this week. How we're going to do this reading is we're going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is going to be the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is going to be messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our last row is going to be the possible outcome of the week. Sagittarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to start off here with the lover's energy and we're just going to get your clarifier and we're looking at the possible energy beginning the week. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius, please. And we've got the hanged man. Sagittarius, at the beginning of the week, with the lovers coming in, the lovers really speaks to us here of a significant relationship in your life. This could very well be a love romantic relationship, but it doesn't necessarily have to be that. This could just be somebody that you have an incredibly close and significant connection to. Now, at the beginning of the week, I see that you are in deep thinking mode with regards to this relationship. This could be for very many different reasons, but with the hanged man energy, it tells me that you're just taking a bit of time out to consider this relationship. Maybe there is something you want to understand. Maybe there is something that went on and you're not sure how to progress forward. There's going to be so many different possibilities, but this is what we see at the beginning of the week. Let us continue and I'm sure we'll get more insight what this is all about. So now we're going to look at the energy that you should focus on this week. And we're looking at our Queen of Wands. So now we want to understand who is this Queen of Wands energy in the area that Sagittarius should focus on. And you've got the Six of Cups. Sagittarius, I think this energy has very much to do with this relationship. I think this is a very significant relationship for you with Six of Cups coming out. It almost gives me the energy that even if this is not a love relationship, even if it's a family relationship or a friend relationship, this energy feels like it goes back many, many years and it almost has the energy that you might have even had a past life together. Now you are being asked to focus on this relationship with the Queen of Wands energy. Now, it doesn't matter if you are masculine or feminine, you're being asked to work with the energy of Queen of Wands. Now, Queen of Wands is a very interesting queen. She's the queen who is, of all the queens, is the most innovative. She's the queen that always looks for answers, looks for solutions. She's not a queen that just takes an answer as is. She wants to understand what is really going on. This particular queen also is very connected to spirit, as we see with this little black cat. She's the queen that works with spirit in terms of meditations, prayer, rituals, visualizations, whatever comes easy and natural to you. Now, we're being told, Sagittarius, that you need to work with this queen of wands energy in terms of looking at this relationship. I think this relationship is very significant to you. I think this relationship is very important to you. This is where you need to put your energy this week. But let's continue and I'm sure we will get deeper insight on what is happening here. Let's look at your unexpected and we've got the Queen of Pentacles coming in. So we now want to see who or what is this Queen of Pentacles energy for Sagittarius please. Or what is this Queen of Pentacles energy? And you've got the Knight of Cups. Okay. 
So now we are starting to understand what is happening here, Sagittarius. I think that what is happening here is unexpectedly this Queen of Pentacles is coming through with some kind of an offer. Now, this Queen of Pentacles could be a masculine or feminine energy. I think it is the counterpart in this relationship. So you are coming through as Queen of Wands and they are coming through as the Queen of Pentacles. As you are both coming through as queens, it really tells me this is a very equal relationship. Although you are different, you are very much an equal in this relationship. Queen of Pentacles is a very solid, stable queen. This is the queen who is very grounded. She's practical. She's focused. She knows where she's going and she knows what she wants. I think unexpectedly, this queen is coming through with an offer. Now, this offer, of course, is going to be so different for everybody because it depends on what this relationship is. So I will just give you some quick examples. If this is a love relationship, this could be your partner coming in Sagittarius and saying, Sagittarius, let's move in together. Sagittarius, let's buy a home together. Let's get engaged. Let's start a family. Okay. If this relationship is a work relationship, for example, this could be your colleague or your boss coming in saying, Sagittarius, let's go into business together. Sagittarius, I'm giving you a promotion. Sagittarius, I'm giving you an increase. This is the energy. So it really just depends on who this person is. But we do see them coming in with an offer. So no wonder we saw now why hanged man energy came through because you are thinking about this offer. You are putting all energy or focus on this relationship and it's connected to this cup, this offer that is coming in, that is being given to you. Very interesting, okay? So it is unexpected, but so far, we can just see that you're going to take your time considering it. Let's go ahead now and look at messages and advice from Spirit. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles. So we now want to see what this Nine of Pentacles energy is for Sagittarius, please. What is this Nine of Pentacles energy? Eight of Cups. Okay, Sagittarius, divine is coming through and they want you to know that whatever you decide is going to be you moving in the direction of your nine of pentacles. Now, nine of pentacles speaks to us of being in a situation, in a place where we are comfortable we don't want for anything. As you can see here, she's in her very lush garden, beautifully dressed. That There is just this element of pure contentment. Divine wants you to know that when you move towards your nine of pentacles, you will naturally leave something behind. And that makes perfect sense. If you decide to take this offer, Sagittarius, then you are going to move forward. So I'll just go back to our examples. If, for example, you accept your partner's offer and you move in with them, you leave your own home and you move in with them. If this is now deciding to go into business with somebody, you leave what you were doing previously and you move into Nine of Pentacles energy. It's incredibly positive energy and it's the energy of a natural move upwards. As you can see, we're moving upwards. You're moving towards your nine of pentacles. Very lovely and clear confirmation coming through from spirit. Right, let's go ahead now and look at our knight of cups that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. Now we had knight of cups coming out in the unexpected. And now we've got Knight of Cups coming out in the possible outcome of the week. Now, when I get a card twice 
in a reading Sagittarius, the energetic power and the significance of the card doubles. Whatever this Knight of Pentacles offer is now becomes that much more significant. So let's go ahead and see what the possible outcome of the week is. So let's see now, what is this Knight of Cups energy? Okay. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, what a big message coming through, Sagittarius. At the end of the week, we see you taking this offer, my dear Sagittarius, whatever it is for you, because here we have the night now moving into the future. So we do see this as a very positive and significant move forward. Wheel of Fortune comes in and tells me whatever this offer is for you changes things significantly. This looks very positive, my dear Sagittarius. You take your time to think about it. You really work with your Queen of Wands energy in terms of understanding what this offer means for you, how it will change things for you. And then we see there is a lovely move onward and upward towards your Nine of Pentacles and things change significantly. Wheel of Fortune speaks to us of a great positive change in our lives. Really an exciting week coming up. Let's go ahead now and get your spirit animal for the week. So we just want to see what is Sagittarius's spirit animal for this week, please. And you have got number 15, cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Isn't that just wonderful? Because what we're being told now, with this offer that comes through, there is an element of a miracle about it. That is such a lovely added element we are seeing this week. Number 15 is your auspicious number. So any combination, any variation of the numbers 1 and 5, please consider a very auspicious sign. The cow is your spirit animal. So wherever a cow comes up for you, please consider that as well. Very auspicious. And your message, the miracles are endless. I think that is just such a wonderful message to take on board. You know, sometimes, you know, we go through our lives day in, day out with our regular routine. And then some things sometimes just happen and we just have to stand still for a moment and acknowledge where the miracles are happening. What a lovely week coming in for you. So that's all I have for you right now, my dear Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.